Sophie was on her way to take her pictures for the day when she came to a sudden stop, not far from a very large group of fish. She could tell they were laughing and chattering and having all kinds of fun. I wish I could be part of a group like that, Sophie said to herself. But I, I am the only bright yellow submersible in this part of the ocean. How could I be part of a group? She plotted her course and went back to work with her camera. Soon, Sophie noticed a single flat-looking fish coming into view. Excuse me, excuse me, would you like to be in a group with me? She called. The flounder didn't reply or even stop, so she called more quickly. Or, or maybe I could be in a group with you. But the flat fish continued to slowly swim off into the wild, watery distance without even a word. I guess not everyone can be in a group, Sophie said softly. She decided she probably needed some time to think about groups, so she turned herself upside down and floated on her back for a while, the way she usually does when she really wants to think hard about something. Then, something wonderful happened. Sophie noticed she was not alone. Something, or someone, was swimming near her, swimming upside down. It was a whale. Sophie didn't know quite what to do. Hello, said the whale, speaking very softly for something so big. Oh, hello, I'm Sophie, replied the mini-sub in a very small voice. I'm Wilma, said the whale. Do you always swim upside down? Only when I'm thinking, replied Sophie. Well, I was just thinking too, said the big cuddly whale, about how much fun this is. What were you thinking about, Sophie? About being in a group. You mean like we are right now, laughed Wilma, who was having a whale of a time with her new friend. Well, Sophie couldn't help but laugh out loud, too. She didn't need to find another sub to be in a group. Hooray for the upside-down group, she called out. Slowly, Sophie hovered to a stop. She could feel her engine running extra smoothly. She wanted to make sure she would always remember the day that she had joined a group and made a new friend. Wilma, she called. 